Greetings my esteemed audience, I'm checking in from the Forest of Enlightenment, I'm checking in with my annual birthday video log. First and foremost we do have a message from, as always, the sponsor of this video, Legio Gloria. Two of our most popular garments are back in stock, so we have the Atlantic Merino Wool Sweater and the Lear's Merino Wool Sweater. So back in stock, do check it out, first link in the description box below. Second point I would like to say before I begin to share my esoteric teachings is that you might notice that I'm not looking at the camera, I'm looking out over the forest and that is to activate the right side of my brain so that I let the muses come to me, I let divine insights just hit me and then I, then I share them with you so that is the, the reason for it. So I can sit here and schizo post in the forest. I'm just letting these insights come to me and then I share them. The insight comes from a childhood friend. I'm not sure if he's watching this, but if you are, shout out to you well. So we grew up playing Age of Empires 2 and Age of Mythology, which by the way I'm supremely grateful for having grown up with these excellent games. Definitely deepened my love for history and mythology. So anyway, he said something. He said something one day and he said, we talked about the games, so he said there's nothing worse than losing when you still have a lot of resources. So the teaching, the life teaching here is that there's nothing worse than not having made the most out of your potential. So if you've played online, you know, it's an easier loss if you lose after you know a long grind where you have no resources left you have you know built the buildings you can and you have trained the soldiers you can but you still get you know you get outplayed uh whereas if you lose before even having you know spent your resources it uh, it pains you a bit more so if you get outplayed even before that it's uh it's a harder loss and of course you um, it's it's nicer to win so the teaching at hand is then what you can think about and i'm and you know i'm thinking about this as i turn a year older i'm now 35 thousand years old that's why i'm i'm so old that's why i'm so wise so i'm thinking about these things i've been on youtube for 10 years by the way and uh, a political dissident for maybe seven eight years something like that so i have meditated upon i've contemplated my um my journey thus far and i will not you know know false humility from me i am happy and proud with what i've done especially given the pressure the ever ever so present pressure i've been under over this last few years so i've still kept going so i'm happy with what i'm done uh no false humility again but uh, you know the critical side of me says that i could perhaps have done more i could perhaps have been better so how do i deal with these emotions you might ask how do i deal with the fact that i feel a part of me feels that I could have done more. There is only one way. There is only one way to deal with it, and that is to, you know, let that sense, that that particular feeling, it must fuel your sense of urgency and your motivation. So the only thing I can do is simply to set a higher pace in the in the months to come. So I have a lot of videos primarily done so perhaps you know that i've been shadow banned on youtube for a few years i do believe that the shadow ban might finally be lifted so folks on youtube the last few years have done other things so new edition of dauntless and of course releasing demigod mentality i'm very happy i've done that so now i can focus on the video i'm just pushing the the metapolitical cause even further and i'm not gonna black pill too much here on my birthday i don't want to think about it too much on this particular day but since it's an important topic and i want to share it we need to look at the reality of the situation in the west they are literally killing our children on the streets horrific crime happened in the uk yesterday i'm not gonna go into it but the the point i want to make is that for me and for other long-term dissidents you might think that you have done your part you have committed yourself to the struggle and you have done your part no one has done their part because we still have so much to do sure we have pushed the overton window quite a lot in our direction over the last few years especially on um, on x nowadays it's a completely different landscape but we still have so much to do i'm definitely not done because i have so so much more to give and again i know as i sit here in a nice comfortable forest i get to you know enjoy nature enjoy the presence of the divine mother earth 
I get to make this nice video, I know also that there are white girls and white boys being tormented basically all the, all the time. Uh, this is not something I can just let go and this fuels my you know it fuels my um, my desire to keep going as well so I'm not gonna say that you know I've done my part and now I can focus on something else it's uh, it's not something we can do and I'm saying this to all you know fellow dissidents as well that you you have to keep going you have to keep going because a lot of it's a lot at stake so uh, there is no you know there is no end to it you used to have to keep going so what I want to say also in regard to you know this potential not living up to your potential if you know that you have a lot of potential, especially when it comes to the metapolitical game, do keep going because you don't want to wake up one day knowing that you could have done more. So the most important thing I can do is of course to give everything I have in the metapolitical or the political arena. There's nothing else I could do that is more important. So that is what I think about. I don't think about, you know, I could have trained harder. Of course for me training is part of the, the metapolitical. Uh, I could have fought more MMA matches. Perhaps I could think that way, but ultimately it doesn't really matter because that is not the most important thing at this moment in time, for me at least. If you have you know, that as a career path or something, go for it, definitely, because you don't want to wake up one day and realize that you, have, that you could have done more. So for me, still a long horizon ahead, still a lot of things to do, and that is how I deal with any any emotion that comes to me saying you know you could have done more so then I just push it to the future that I will do more I will keep going um, to use an example we can take Donald Trump is an old man now quite old uh, but he has the energy he has the thumos of a 20 year old guy why you might ask why does he have that energy still yes because he still has goals ambitions he is on a journey still it doesn't end he still has so much to do he didn't just you know check out from life and decided to you know be on a be on a nice boat or a golf course or whatever it might be he decided to continue going and that's you know he gains you know divine energy to do that same thing for you if you are on a on a higher quest you will receive divine blessings i talked about this in the latest podcast episode by the way that Donald Trump he has worked up a good hamingya, a good karma over so many years. So therefore he, you know, divine a divine intervention caused him to turn his head so he didn't get killed. This is how it is. If you embrace a higher path, you will get divine blessings. So this is how you get the the blessings of the gods. I will talk about this in a different video, but if you commit yourself to a higher cause, you will also receive blessings in the shape of you know protection from a guardian angel or in terms of just sheer pure energy so if you want to unlock the inexhaustible energy of the normans you simply have to keep your ambitions your goals your journey in uh, in mind you don't have to you can't let it go because then you will just stop and falter and then the divine energy it will um, it will not animate you anymore so keep going is my best advice now on a similar note, this can be quite heartbreaking if we're talking about potential and individuals not living out, living up to their full potential. It can be quite heartbreaking to see a young talent, a young guy, he might be talented in something and then he squanders it. He squanders his talent because he's out drinking alcohol or he doesn't focus enough, he gets distracted. And this, by the way, this is why we need to really push against pornography, alcohol, drugs, everything like that. Similar, if you see a beautiful young woman who, you know, she, she gets older, she doesn't find a man, she doesn't have children, and you see that potential, that awesome potential to create life that, you know, most women have, and she doesn't realize it, it can be heartbreaking, even for, you might not be related to her at all, but it can still be a bit heartbreaking. So if you see a young woman uh, or a woman getting older, she doesn't have children, you see a young guy with a lot of potential, he doesn't realize his potential. It can be even for a stranger, it can be quite, um, it can be quite um, uncomfortable to see, it can be quite painful to see. And this pain is of course amplified greatly if it's someone you know and care about and the greatest pain if, is if that person is, um, is yourself. So you know if you haven't done the utmost because of whatever reason so uh, do keep that in mind as you as you turn a year older you need to look back at your year and say did I do everything I could to get closer to my goals and if you didn't then yeah use that 
shame, perhaps shame isn't, it's too strong of a word to describe it, but use that frustration at least to, um, you know, motivate, to fuel yourself in the, in the year to come. So if you feel that you haven't pushed yourself hard enough, then um, yeah, use that the dissatisfaction to, to push yourself in the, in the year to come. Now on a last note, I would also say that you do, you do probably have a lot more potential and energy than you think you have. You don't, um, you don't reach the end of your capacity. And this is why military service can be a good thing or mountaineering or something like that. You, you realize that you still have, no matter how hard it gets, you still have energy to give, you still have energy reserves, wherever they might come from, you still have so much more to give. So think of that if you ever get tired that you, you're still, you know, you still have a wellspring inside of you that you can use. So good times, good times. I hope my schizo ramblings here from the forest, I hope they made sense somewhat. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. Do check out all links in the description box below. Heads up regarding Jotunheim Nutrition. So jotunheimnutrition.com is now the new address for both the US and Europe. So if you are in Europe, the new address is jotunheimnutrition.com. So anyway, good times, good times. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. XOXO. Boom.